Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be going over part two of Aperture 3. Now, last time we went over how to import, um, how to add in metadata information, and kind of how to set up some of your presets. So today what we're kind of going to go over is a little bit of editing and, and exactly how to edit in Aperture 3, and then send it over to Photoshop so that you can finish your edit. So what we're going to do is, I'm up here in Projects, as you can see. Now, um, now, if you don't like to go through projects and you, you have a lot of huge Aperture 3 library, hopefully what you've done is you've set up projects and albums here so that you can go find uh, specific projects if you've got a bunch and you don't want to you don't want to go looking for it. So uh, we're going to just open up a random project here. This is when I was at my uncle and aunt's house recently and I was just screwing around taking some pics but it was like 105 degrees outside so I didn't last very long outside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click into it and the other cool thing that you can do is if you're looking to make sure you got the right project you can actually spin these around as you can see and you can kinda see what all's in that project so uh, let's open it up and there we go and now let's just pick a random picture here. So let's do this one with the random barn just sitting out in the middle of a field that I took. And then we're going to go over to what's called adjustments up at the top. So now we're in adjustments. So now what we're going to be doing is actually physically editing this picture. Now something you need to understand about Aperture is that as you edit, you're not really editing the picture. It's not fully edited till you've actually exported it away from Aperture 3. So this is showing you what it could look like once you export it. But it's not actually, this is it's mainly what it is, is like a preview of what your picture can look like. So, but until you export it, it's really the picture's the same. It's just showing you a preview, which is really nice because you don't have to do all these major changes in your software and it takes a while for it to actually go through and edit everything if you have a slower computer. So... As you can see, this picture is actually a little dark. So say I wanted to lighten it up. I could actually just go right up here to brightness. And we could lighten her up a little bit. So let's brighten her up just a tad bit. I don't really like that, so I'm going to bring it down. Maybe I want to darken it up. Um, so you have a bunch of different things to work with here. Um, your exposures, enhancement, highlights and shadows. I don't really use highlights and shadows much. I use color a lot. So as you can see, there's a lot of green here. So maybe I want to add, I want to pump the green up a little bit. So what I can go through is I can make the green look a little bit greener. And now you can see the green's a little bit nicer. And see they've got the, like the red barn. So we'll go in and maybe pump up the reds in this picture a little bit. And as you can see, the barn got a little red, but it's a little more red than I wanted to, so we'll bring it back down just a little bit. And, and so on and so forth. So that's all I want to do with the color here. And then you've got levels if you want to mess around with your levels right here. You pretty much have all the good basic uh, tools that you have in Photoshop you have right here in Aperture, which is just fantastic. Um, okay, now definition is a pretty cool little thing. What it does is it goes and really sharpens the image up. So did you notice it just really sharpened it up, brought the barn out. If I uncheck up here at the top, and then if I recheck it, you're going to notice the difference. And now you can saturate. Say so I want to, I want to bring the saturation down and just add in a little red and just really show this. But this picture, I really don't want to saturate because I like the colors in it. So maybe I want to add into it, but that makes it look a little yellow. So we're going to pull back a little bit, and maybe we'll pop the vibrancy up. See how that looks. And I like the vibrancy, so we'll pop to the vibrancy. And it's, if you notice down here, it's letting you know the process. Now you've got like your cropping tool, red eye tool, brushes, uh, select straight tool. There's a bunch of different tools to pick from. And then you have up here in adjustments, you can go through and click. Now if you notice all the things with the little dots next to them are the things that are out here on my bar. So say I don't want the white balance, I'm just going to take it away. So I'm going to just check the white balance. And I can add in something. Say I want to add in, let's say, that. And it's going to take a second. And now I have my retouch tool. And I believe if you hold down the shift button, 
No. So, and then you can go in and retouch it. It's very similar to the brush tool in um, in Photoshop. So mainly what it does is you can, if you wanted to get rid of certain things, you can go in and retouch it, and it will try to help you out there. So now once you've done your full edit, and you can also do cropping and stuff like that as well, you have a bunch of different stuff as you can see to pick from here. If you want a vignette, you can add a vignette into your picture. And there you go, I just added in a little vignette. And then you can see where the, you can go in it and kind of pick, you know, really set up the vignette the way you want to. So if I wanted to add a bigger radius, I'm going to go in and add a larger radius on the vignette. It takes a second to process. My computer's a mite bit on the old side, so sorry about that. So, um, so now the picture actually looks halfway decent. So now if I want to do some just last minute touches, basic things, and to export it on the size I need to export it in, I'm going to just hit uh, Edit with Photoshop CS5. And now, by right-clicking and clicking Photoshop, as you saw, um, it's going to send it over to Photoshop, and I'm going to finish my edit, and then I'm going to export it to the folder or desktop or wherever I want to put it, and then upload it or put it in my portfolio. Um, so this is kind of the basics of editing with uh, Aperture 3. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm just kind of going over what I do. Mostly what I do is I import it into the library, then I go over to Adjustments, I pick the picture I want to edit, I edit, edit it, then I right click, I send it to Photoshop CS5. If you don't, if it's fine how it is or you don't have CS5, you can actually just go to this export now and you want to export the master. So we'll go on and export the master. And it's going to pop up with the screen here in a second. And we'll just say we want to put it on my desktop. So it's going to export it there. And Then you're just going to export master, and you'll click export master, will send it to your desktop, or you can export version, and this is where you can be a little more specific at the size. You can export it as a JPEG, or these other TIFF or PNG, and then you can export what size you want it to. If you want it to be like 50% of the original size, so it's going to make it uh, the size, the actual size of the picture, as far as megabyte wise, it's going to make it half of what it is. So therefore, say like. Uh, Facebook, you can only upload up to like I think five megabytes at a time. So it's, and say your picture is eight megabytes, so it will half it, make it four megabytes, and you can upload it to Facebook. So and then you would just hit, you know, if you want to add in anything here, and then export version. So Aperture Three is an amazing piece of software, and I pretty much don't do some editing. I always do a little bit of editing in Aperture Three before I ship it over to Photoshop. So Again, Aperture 3 is an amazing piece of software, and if you have any questions or something that you want me to specifically show you how to do in Aperture 3, please let me know, because I'm pretty much showing you exactly what I do in Aperture 3. I tell you the truth, I don't know what a lot of this other stuff up here does, and I'm learning as I go, but for me, importing to the library, then shooting it over to adjustments, and then shooting it to Photoshop, and then exporting it into the folder that I want to is pretty much all I do in Aperture 3, and I can't foresee the Aperture 3 has, Aperture 3 has any more stuff that I really need out of it because its editing software is amazing as um, far as just real basic editing before you send it into Photoshop and you fine tune it in Photoshop. So again I'm David with Media Unlocked. I hope this helped you out. Uh, leave any comments or send me a message if you got any questions or something specific that you know Aperture 3 does but you don't know how to do it. I'm more than happy to take the time out of my day, do a little research on it and figure out how to do it and then put up a tutorial to teach you how to do it. That's what I'm here for is to help you guys out. So just tell me what you guys want and you guys will get it. You have a wonderful day. Bye.